Hey, I'm the Cinematic Witch, and today we are going to travel to two cities, Hastings and Battle. They are really connected, and I'll tell you why. But Hastings is a city that once took my soul and doesn't want to give it back at all. I recommend you to travel in the morning, not only because everything closes at 4pm in these cities, but also because there are fewer people on 10-11am trains and you can fully enjoy your trip. I'll tell you more about our routes between the sites of Battle and Hastings. The main reason why you have to visit this English town is because this is where the 1066 battle took place, surprisingly. This fist actually looks like the Red Wedding from Game of Thrones, it's scary. The second reason, well, architecture, and its exploration starts right at the station where you can find a building built in 1852, which is the finest example of Gothic Revival small stations in England. It's grade 2 listed, which means that it's a building of special interest, warranting every effort to preserve it. And I almost forgot to tell you about this tiny little garden right at the station where I saw snowdrop flowers for the first time in my life. This garden has been created by a local resident and it's so, so sweet. It actually adds up to the atmosphere. In 1066, the area was known for its salt production, by the way. When I read this fact, I thought, yes, this feels like it. Of course, in a good way. Here, I saw the first glimpse of spring in England this year, and it made me cheerful. I almost forgot how spring really feels. We weren't up for a drink, but if you happen to be in battle in the mood for something to drink, visit the oldest pub in battle built in 1478. I can't say anything about the food, but the building is exceptional. This bar is located right on the route from the station to Bottle Abbey. I love the texture of the city and its dark color. It has a kind of a dark charm, as if some gothic author almost wrote this city. Actually, someone wrote about this city, and it was in 1722 when Danielle Defoe described this town as being remarkable for little now, but for making the finest gunpowder and the best perhaps in Europe. The town of Battle eventually grew around this abbey and later developed. The high altar of the abbey church was reputedly on the spot where Harold died. The abbey is located on an old-fashioned high street with many shops and restaurants. And it does feel surreal to look at something that old, because in my culture, a lot of monuments of the past were simply destroyed by either a war or a revolution, or by some stupid decisions.
bar we bought cider made by 1066 Brewery and we did enjoy it. It was sweet with a hint of dried fruit. However, I didn't particularly like the aftertaste. Interestingly, I found out on the brewery's website that they produce vegan-friendly beers with no additives, filtration or chemicals, so I would definitely visit again to learn more about their products. This is St. Mary's Battle. This is a grade one listed church with a history of almost 1,000 years. If you want to visit either Battle or Hastings, the best way to do this is to board a train. If you're going to Hastings or want to visit Hastings, you'd better plan to visit Battle as well, because this is the city that is located right on the route to Hastings. The best part of it is that if you buy an off-peak ticket to Hastings, you can easily use it to travel from Battle to Hastings uh, when you take off at a battle when you go from London or from whenever you're going from. <laughs> so for example, if I go to Hastings and I go from Tonbridge Wells, I can easily take off at battle and then get back to the station and go to Hastings. That's what I'm going to do. This time at Hastings will be my third time there. South Eastern trains to Hastings depart from Charing Cross station in London. The journey typically takes between one and a half to two hours to reach the final destination. I love Hastings. <laughs> That's the best place in the world. I just feel so relaxed, so lost in time and space in a good way. The first time I came to Hastings on my birthday and I was really pissed off with all the immigration protests and I didn't even want to celebrate but um, Benji he just offered to go to Hastings because I wanted to see the sea <laughs> and um, yeah actually I thought why not and uh, we went and this was one of the best days of my life like like really and um, after that I came one more time and this is the third time here. If we talk about what to see in Hastings, there are a lot of things and uh, I'm usually um, driven by intuition and just a few spots on Google Maps. And uh, this is my attitude and <laughs> that's how I usually approach things and how I usually travel. It's always a problem for me to make a concrete plan <laughs> because it just you don't know the city yet and you can't build this plan and follow it because when you go you just see a lot of new buildings a lot of new places that you want to see and discover and you can't just you know follow what you've written <laughs> that's why i think this travel video is more of a spiritual and more of a what i love about hastings and why you should visit it just because it's beautiful not because of all the places, all the, you know, museums, like Fisherman Museum, which we visited on the 11th of December on my birthday uh, last year. And this is kind of um, not what I am about. And I think that my travel videos are mostly about how you feel here. In the 19th century, Hastings was a popular seaside resort thanks to the railway that facilitated tourists and visitors' access to the town. Interestingly, the first mansion of Hastings dates back to the late 8th century. This trip to Hastings on my birthday was a really life-saving trip because I think that I've overcame a depressive episode quicker because I was here and I've enjoyed this, this place and how it all went. 
I feel the soul of the city as an old fisherman who came back from, from the sea and is now, you know, enjoying his life here, watching the waves and dreaming about how once he was a fisherman. Seagulls are really, really funny. Uh, I think these are my favorite birds so far. I really love how they genuinely interested in your food whenever you come up to eat something on the beach. coming home from Hastings you feel like you are taking back to your normal regular boring life but here life is magical and um, I think it's because of the sea because of the colors because everything here the beach the waves they are so calm in colors and at the same time the saturation is high <laughs> and you feel all the colors as if it's it's kind of it's really amazing. Hastings is the city of funny dogs. I'm serious. I've made a lot of footage of these guys being funny in various situations. I have actually two favorite coffee shops here. One is 1066, uh, which is actually the date of the Hastings battle. And uh, the second one is a coffee shop. I forgot its name, but I can see it from here, from the shore. Uh, and I will pop up the name and the footage, I think. Uh, this is where you can find a very good coffee and the most magical atmosphere. And I really wanted to come there to write. I haven't done this yet, but I think I will. Apart from that, there are a few great fish and chip spots. And additionally, you can taste Jewish cuisine at a restaurant where I had a wonderful birthday dinner. Leave a comment below to find out its name. By the way, once I met David Tennant on the street randomly. <laughs> okay, this was a joke. I put a lot of effort, time and energy into this video and I'll be really glad if you liked it. So if you did, please don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I see you in my next video. Stay cinematic and don't be afraid of witches. Bye.